Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech and today we are going to compare the new Honor 5 versus the Makib BR3. So if you haven't seen some of the videos that we did with Honor 5, you can go check them out. I highly recommend you. We did some comparison with other devices and as we always do the unboxing video which came out great. If you don't know about the 105 specification, we are going to go through them real quick just to know with what we are dealing here. We have here the 105 with 0.95 inch AMOLED full touch screen. The 105 support multi language starting with English, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Japanese, German, Italian, etc. It supports Android 4.4 and above and iOS 9.0 and above. It's water resistant up to 50 meters. Also, it has blood oxygen and different other sensors to be able to use in day to day basic. We have call reminder and we have different message app notifications different sports alarms and other stuff in the left we have his competition for today the Makib BR3 which it has a built-in GPS it has multiple running modes it has hard rate, multi-sport management, 1.3 inch screen, color screen and same as the Honor 5 supports different languages starting with English, Japanese, Italian, Russian, Spanish etc etc. So both of these devices are really good for their own purposes. So let's go ahead and see in the our first we have here in the first page the time day we have steps and weather here if you press here you can see percentage of battery messages and the weather now it's not connecting that's why it's not telling the weather let's go next we have the steps heart rate blood oxygen sleep workout here in workout we have outdoor run indoor run outdoor walk indoor walk indoor cycle elliptical rower pool and free training Next we have Alipay, which is used only in China. And we have messages and more. Here and more we have timer, stopwatch, faces, fine phone, brightness, screen on, battery and system. And in the end we have the music as well. To not forget we can control our music, our volume, play and pause. So as you can see we have some of the options that we already mentioned in the start of the video. We have here the Makib now. As you can see in the first page we have the time, date, battery, burn calories, steps and stand up time. Next we have the health, here in health we have heart rate and fatigue. Next we have the menu, we have message, events, stopwatch, timer, compass and settings in the end. We have here watch faces, long press, smart track, 24 hour, heart rate, no do not disturb, 
we have the language brightness about and reset next we have the sport we have here run cycle fast walk climb basketball badminton table tennis soccer volleyball sit-ups rope jumping yoga dance aerobic ice skating swimming and tennis the Maquis BR3 is known for the multiple sport mode so as you can see we have quite a few sport modes here that we can use and here we have the sport data that we can see down below we have the percentage of battery the flashlight and do not disturb also in the top we have steps that we can see the data next we have stand energy and that's all so as you can see the Maki BR3 is very good for sport mode using or hiking or whatever you want to do the Makib is very useful it has multiple options and choices in different pages of the watch so it's good to use them every day now let's go and test the sports the options that they give us let's see the difference between them how they operate and all these kind of stuff okay now we have here the honor 5 let's go straight to the heart rate and wait for the result we have here the vibration and the result in the end next we have the blood oxygen let's test that as well we have here now measuring the percentage of oxygen in blood and we have the blood pressure measurement here as well So we can confirm that the health options works really good in the Honor 5. Next we can go to, we have here the result. As I was saying we can go now to the sport mode. We have the first one outdoor run so let's press that it's telling us to measure one finger from here and now the three second countdown with that little vibration to tell you that the sport mode just activated we have here the blood pressure measurement kilometer the time here kilometer per hour 
how many stops we did per minute burn calories and in the top we have the time as we need to see so the sport in the honor 5 works really good as well we don't have anything else to test but we can say that from the test that we did in the honor 5 they are working really good every time let's go ahead and test the Makib and see if we have any difference now we have here the Makib let's go straight to the health so we have here heart rate and fatigue let's go first with heart rate as you can see it's telling us that it's reading so it means that it's measuring our heart rate we have the first result here and that was really fast and we wait for the final result next we are going to test the fatigue after that we can go to the sport mode as you can see the downside of Makib is the screen that it doesn't stay up or awake for a long time you have to press it every few seconds or just wake it with the button The final result is taking longer in the Makib. And we don't have any result. As you can see, it's just measuring the live heart rate. Let's go to the fatigue. Here in Fatigue we have this line that is telling us how long we have left for the result. as you can see we have here the fatigue result let's go next to the sport the first one is run press start the GPS sign is here press go and we have now GPS activated the time in the corner we have the kilometer, the blood pressure measurement, burn calories, heart rate, we 
we have the steps, kilometers and all these kind of information. So as you can see in both of these devices they work really good. Now let's go and see the apps that they use. Let's see the difference there and we can choose which one is better. So now as you can see we have both of the apps that are required for these smartwatches. We have here the Zerner app and we have Huawei Health. As you know the Zerner is for Makib and Huawei Health is for the Honor 5. So let's go straight to the Zerner And as you can see we have to put our email or you have to say sign up. So I'm gonna put my email and I'll be right back. So after I put my email and password we got access to the Zerner app. As you can see in the first, first page we have the data for today. We have the stand up time, steps and burn calories. You can go you can press here you can see for today or four days before the data will be saved here you can see and compare all these between each other we have here steps, burn calories and stand up. We have also the data with statistic here. So you can go and see for yourself all the data. Next we have running, cycling, speed walking, bowling, mountaining, swimming and other sports. You can press one of them it will start the sport mode in your watch and then you can see all the data here in the app. In the end we have the health or the sleep data but we don't have any for today. Next we have the device here you can add the device or connect whatever you have or whatever you're using. The last is profile page. You can see the name. You can edit the profile. You have to put your information. We have here goal settings, 101, guide, help, link and settings in the bottom. So you can see the Zerner app is not too difficult to use. It's very easy and it's not too complicated. Now let's go to Huawei Health and here you can see in the first page we have again the today's activities or today's data. We have steps, minutes, kilometers and burn calories. Here we have exercise record, heart rate, sleep, weight and stress. You can edit these by pressing the button here and you can order them however you want. Next we have exercise. Here we can see cycling, walking and outdoor running. They are using GPS. You can see yourself where are you running, for how long burnt calories and all this kind of information will be saved here in the app. We have indoor running and training. They are not using any GPS at all. Next we have the device. Here you can add a device as we saw on the Zirnar same. You can add a device here. And we have me. The last page we have here messages, achievements, weekly monthly report, my plans, profile, settings and about. So you can see both of the apps have their own settings, 
like the, the different theme and all these kind of stuff so you have to choose for your preference which one fits better for you so guys this was all for today's video in my key br3 versus the hunter 5 if you have any question or suggestion feel free to comment down below we will try to reply to y'all hit the like button subscribe our channel thank you for your support keep supporting us and we will see you in the next time